So coming back to the another organ, ENT, the nose, mm, is another important uh, uh, organ or, or we have in the body. So can you help us out? What are the common issues you see in your hospital uh, with the nose, nose related issues in the hospital? What kind of complaints do you get and what kind of treatments do you give? And can you elaborate a little more on a, a nose, please? Let's understand that uh, ENT is uh, no longer ENT now. Uh, we have uh, specialities, sub-specialities. And uh, ear surgeon is called an otologist. A nose surgeon is called a rhinologist. And a throat oh. surgeon is called a laryngologist. So basically, yeah. I am a rhinologist. And I deal with a lot of nose problems. And I am basically a rhinologist. So, so uh, okay. the first time I'm about... hearing these two terminology. I know I heard of the laryngologist. I mean, I spoke to one gentleman, so I, I heard about it, but not these two. I know these are the first. Thank you very much for letting us know. So if you have, uh, for example, if you are abroad, then you, you just can't visit a, a normal ENT doctor. We are very rare because to see there, uh, you know, nobody can specialize in all the fields in ENT. It's so large. So they have specific uh, people dealing with specific uh, areas. So when you have a nose problem, you go to the rhinologist. So the rhinology mm. problem can start right from uh, babies to, uh, you know, there's a huge spectrum of uh, diseases which can affect, but I'm going to talk only about common problems because it's just a 20 minute interview. Let me talk about two important problems. Number one in children. Uh, children can have cold, common cold. So common cold in children, we call it, so you call it cold, that is the normal person, and we call it rhinitis. It's called rhinitis. And that uh, usually occurs in school-going children because, uh, you know, they're exposed to the other children who are infected. Basically, rhinitis starts with viral infection like adenovirus and then progresses on to bacterial infection. So this is how the babies, they, they'll have running nose, nose block, headache, sometimes loss of concentration. They'll bang their head against the mother's belly. These are all manifest because a child cannot talk and tell that, you know, they're having a discomfort. Whereas an adult can say that. Head banging, loss of concentration, loss of feeding, irritability, all this can be due to common cold and also ear pain, as I told you. So I'm going to give you a common tips for a mother who can treat common cold at home. So basically, vitamin C is very, very useful for common cold. Let us understand that uh, if you have anything which contains a lot of vitamin C, it's very good for common cold. Number two is a very important solution, which I'm going to tell you, which is one tumbler of boiled cool water. That is warm, normal temperature, body temperature. You had one teaspoon of common salt and one pinch of baking soda not washing soda, baking soda. And you just mix it and take it in an ink filler and put it as drops, six drops, three times a day. And believe me, it works magic. This is the latest treatment. It's actually introduced in India by the yogis. You know, it's called the Nethi treatment. So that's mm. what has been researched on by the, you know, the world, whole world. And they have published several articles on that. And we're following that in a very, very, a very large scale. And that works wonders for children with sinusitis. These children can also present with snoring. The children presenting with snoring can have a, a large mass behind the nose, which is called the adenoids. Adenoids. <clears throat> so you have heard of adenoid tonsil being removed for yeah. children. So that is what I'm talking about. But this is present mm -hmm. behind the nose. And the tonsil is present in the throat. So the children mm -hmm. present with this very, very commonly. They have snoring, and that can produce a facial deformity on long run. It can actually mm. cause a high arch palate, crowding of the teeth, and uh, you know elongation of the face and uh, the facial changes. That's called the adenoid facies. And if a child mm. has got this, then immediately I I prefer that they visit a ENT doctor if the child has got snoring, not responding to this um, solution which I told you. Usually we can try that solution. Most of the Adenoid will vanish. If it doesn't, then it's better to visit a ENT doctor. And what he will do is give some sprays in the nose and treat it medically. And if it's not getting mm. cured, we have some latest treatments like coblation treatment for that to remove the, uh, the adenoid. Mm. So this is what I want to tell with respect to the children. With respect to adults, very, very common 
In fact, 10% of the population in the U.S. suffer from this disease. It's one of the commonest mm. diseases, and that's called sinusitis. So mm. they have studied the loss of work hours. They have done a lot of research and found that sinusitis is one of the diseases which causes a loss of work hours, the maximum loss of work hours in the U.S. So, of course, in India, we don't have a study like that. But then the sinusitis presents with nasal block, nasal discharge, sometimes bleeding from the nose, loss of olfaction means loss of smell, loss of taste. But you see in the COVID period, many people lost their smell and loss of taste. Yeah. So, uh, and then you can also have very importantly headache. Headache here in the, in the forehead, in the cheek region, very common mm. presentation, sometimes swelling in the face. They'll say it's slightly bloated. This is sinusitis. Sinusitis, in my opinion, can be treated medically if it's treated early. And again, the best treatment would be the same. I advise them to use one tumbler of boiled, cooled, warm water. That is at body temperature. Add one teaspoon of common salt, one, teaspoon, one pinch of baking soda, mix it. And in adults, you can use it in a syringe, a 10 ml syringe, and 10 ml three times. You can look on my uh, Insta channel or my, uh, uh, you know, many treatment. I can so many things on nasal treatment or nasal douching. It's called nasal douching. And if you look at it, then, uh, you know, there are a number of particles on that. You can see how to douche that also. And that, that gives you a very good, very good relief of sinusitis. But uh, most mm. of the sinusitis is treated medically with steroid sprays and things like that. But if it's not treated medically, we go in for endoscopic sinus surgery, which is the latest treatment, and we do that very regularly.